Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of your English online sessions. My name is Mr. Osama and today we have Unit 9, Lesson 6 and 7. For today, objectives, we're going to use the present perfect with yet and we're going to practice understanding the problems, okay? Let's start up with the form. The present perfect in affirmative form. Subject plus have or has plus the verb in past participle, okay? So if it was singular form, it takes has. If it was I, you, we, they, it takes have. Remember that. In negative form, we just add not after have or has. Like, we haven't worked, we haven't written. She hasn't worked, she hasn't written. Okay? And a question form, we put the helping verb before the subject. Okay? Have you worked? Have they worked? And so on. Okay? Has she worked? Has she written? Uh, we can add the question tool before have or has. It doesn't have to start or have or has. But the, but the form itself, even if in the question form, even if it was a tool, have and has comes before the subject. Remember that. Okay, now we're going to talk about yet. Yet, we use it to talk about actions that isn't finished. Okay, like this example. Have you finished your homework yet? I haven't finished it yet. yet. I'll do it after dinner, okay? So, yet comes either with a question or a, negative, or a negative sentence. It doesn't come with affirmative one, okay? Uh, we also, yet comes at the end of the question or the sentence. Remember that. Already. Already, we use already to talk about uh, action that happened and finished earlier than we expected, okay? Like this example, we've already had our breakfast, okay? It means we finished our breakfast before uh, we realize it, okay? When are you going to do your homework? But I've already done it, see? Like this example shows that he wasn't expecting him to finish the homework, but he already did it, okay? Already usually comes after have or has, like if you see here, have already, have already, have already, or has already, it depends on the subject, okay? Okay, now we're gonna talk about never and ever. We use ever or never to talk about uh, experiences up to the present, like uh, are you still, have you ever played something? Have you ever done something? Okay, we use it in this context. Okay, uh, never comes at the negative sentence. Okay, remember that never comes at negative sentence. But if we want to put never in a question, it, it's gonna revert to ever. Okay, it's gonna change to ever. We can't write never in a, in a question or affirmative sentence. Okay, here's another example. My last birthday was the worst day I have ever had. We use never in the question, have you ever met George? Yes, but I have never met his wife. See, he, we use ever here and we use never here because it's a negative sentence. Let's move on with the vocab. Make up with someone, it means to forgive someone, okay? When you had a fight with a friend and you want to fix everything between you two, you say, I'm making up with someone, all right? Uh, but don't confuse, make up means a lot of me, it has a lot of different means, like make up that, uh, that women put on their face to look prettier, okay? Uh, here's an example, you should make up with Ahmed, he is a good friend, okay? So how to differentiate between the normal makeup and make up with someone is the, the, the word doesn't have a space, like if you see a space between the two words, then it's make up means fixing relationship. If there wasn't a space, then it means something different. Okay? Remember that. Argument or argue. Argument is a noun. Argue is the verb. It's like uh, when you uh, talking to someone, but like fighting with words. Okay? This is called an argument. It's a discussion or debate in which a number of people put forward different or opposing opinions, okay? Like he has a different idea and he doesn't like his idea and he's yelling at him and they're shouting at each other, screaming, etc. Okay, this is called an argument. Here is an example. I've had an argument with my father. Okay, let's open the student book on page 106. 
Okay, we're gonna read these problems from one to six. One is the least difficult, six is the most difficult. What does that mean? Is these are different situations or scenarios, and we're gonna rate them. Like uh, if this was too easy to fix, like we're gonna put one. If this was harder, we put two. No, this one is very hard, we're gonna put six and so on, okay? I want you to do this exercise by yourself. It's it's uh, it's not that easy, but I want you to think about it as much as possible. I can't help you with that. It differs from one person to another. Yeah. For, for example, this problem might be harder for you while it's not for another student. Like you don't understand the math class. Your teacher doesn't know because you copy your friend's homework every day. Okay. So this, we can fix this problem uh, by doing our homework or talking to the teacher that you don't understand the lesson. And for example, we're gonna read this like one. I see this is an easy problem, but for you, you may be shy and you don't wanna talk about this problem. Uh, you wanna keep it hiding. Uh, so maybe it, uh, solving this problem for you is not as easy as it is for me, okay? All right. Let's move on. I want you uh, to open your uh, language activity book on page 89. Page 89, okay? All right. Write the letter of each of the sentences under the picture. I'm gonna do one for you. I'm really sorry that I broke your video game. I'll buy you a new one. So which one of these picture is this? This is called apologizing, okay? So this is number A. You can finish the rest by yourself. Okay, here is an example for uh, the grammar we had today. Have you apologized yet? Yes, I have. Or no, I haven't. Has she introduced herself yet? Yes, she have. Or no, she hasn't. Okay, remember to put the, the, the verb in a past participle. Yet comes at the end of the sentence. And because it was a question, have and has come at the beginning of the sentence. This uh, yes and no answers, uh, as you see, yes, she has, or yes, I have, because the helping verb, we put it in the answer, okay? We match the answer with the question. All right, look at the pictures, write and answer questions with yet in your notebook. Okay, I'm gonna do uh, one for you, and you have to finish the rest by yourself. Teacher, leave room. So we're gonna make a question uh, using present perfect using these words. Has the teacher left the room yet? No, he hasn't. Okay, we're gonna do the same for the second sentence. Have, sorry. Have children started because a uh, past participle, their work. yet okay have the children started their work yet okay and we're gonna put a question i'm gonna answer look we're gonna look at the picture yes they are working so yes they have all right okay you can do the rest by yourself it's an easy exercise don't worry about it i want you to flip the page okay this is page 90 so I can't do this exercise with you because we have to listen to a track and uh, you, we're gonna fill the blanks. So what I'm gonna do is gonna upload the track on Scolera for you to download, either on external link or with the files that I usually upload with model answers. And you ha you're gonna try to finish this exercise by yourself. And on the next day, I'm gonna upload the model answer for it, okay? So I'm not gonna play it in the video because it's gonna take a lot of time. Okay, I want you to open your uh, booklet on page uh, 56. Okay, so we have the, the rewrite uh, uh, exercise here. I'm gonna do one for you. I have already played cards. So we, in order to put yet, we have to do one of the following, either to uh, convert the sentence to a question or to a, neg a negative. 
So I can say I have never, I have never played cards. I our wait, wait, I haven't. Sorry, played cards yet. Or we can say, have you played cards yet? And we put a question mark. Okay. So what I did here is put it in negative sentence or put it in a question, both answers considered correct. Okay, you can do the rest by yourself. We're gonna choose the correct answer. I'm gonna do one for you. So uh, she hasn't cooked yet because yet comes at the end of the sentence, already doesn't come at the end of the sentence, okay? You can do the rest by yourself. Here we have a rearranging. Okay, let us me let me do one for you. Not finished, they have yet meal, they, there. So they haven't or have not finished their meal yet. Okay, and a full stop. You can do the rest by yourself. All right, okay. So what did we learn today? We learned, uh, we remembered device at the present perfect. Uh, we, we learned how to use it with yet. We learned about uh, ever and uh, never. We also learned some new vocabulary and uh, what kind of situation and problems uh, we can deal with, okay? So here's your assessment question. I want you to rewrite the following sentence. I didn't go to swim. And I have never visited uh, to Canada, okay? Uh, there is no two. I have never visited Canada. There is no two here, okay? You can correct that. As for your homework and practice, uh, your student book pages, 106, 107, your language activity book pages, 89 and 90, and your booklet pages, 56 and 57. I hope you enjoyed the lesson today and see you next time.